Hey guys, welcome back. I am so glad you're here. Welcome to the Heroic You series. And today what we're doing is a 40 minute kettlebell full body strength. We're going to work that entire body with a kettlebell. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can do the same activities with just a dumbbell. And today's heroic move is going to be the kettlebell swing. So let me show you really quickly what that's going to look like. We're going to do a single arm kettlebell swing. We're going to take that back and we're gonna have a nice neutral spine we're gonna hinge at the hip and we're gonna drive it to that eye level so you're gonna hinge down and drive to that eye level just one side and it's gonna come from those hips it's gonna be a drive through those hips if you don't have a kettlebell what you're gonna use is a dumbbell you're gonna hold it long ways you're still gonna hinge and then you're gonna drive it right up to that eye level same thing so all you need is one dumbbell i'm using my 15 pound It'll be a little bit light for some others. It'll be just right for some, but it'll keep my body moving, that heart rate up. So grab a dumbbell. Don't forget to sweat, towel, and drink. And of course, your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully I had a chance to grab a kettlebell or your dumbbell. And got your great attitude. If so, let's get warmed up. Let's start with just some squats. We're going to get that body all warmed up. Three more like this, two more, last one. This time, touch down and big arm circle. Touch down, big arm circle. Three more like this, two more. Last one, this time we're gonna go down. I'm gonna do the other direction, ooh yeah. Getting those arms in there, getting those legs warmed up. Two more, last one, oh yeah. And we're going to open up that chest, squeeze those shoulder blades, and we pull that leg all the way back to that butt. Open up those quads, open up that chest. Feeling good. Come on. Three more. Two more. Last one. This time we're going to hinge down and drive all the way up. Take those hands down. Hinge and drive. We're going to go glide those hamstrings. We're going to get that nice good hip hinge. AKA what we're gonna do in that swing. Oh yeah. Come on, drive that forward. Three more, two more. Last one, hang down right here. Take that right hand, look on up. Roll that wrist, roll it the other way. Take the left hand up, look up towards the ceiling. Roll that wrist, roll it the other way. One more on each side. Right hand, roll the wrist, roll it the other way. Take that left hand, roll the wrist, roll it the other way. Then right here, we're gonna squat and then push those knees straight. Glide those hamstrings, open up those hips. We've got three, two, last one. Hang low, let's open up those hips. Push those hips open, oh baby. Yes, three, two, last one right here. We're gonna go down and up in a lunge. Drive those arms up. We've got three, two, last one. Right here, low lunge, straighten that front knee. Low lunge, straighten that front knee. Three, two, last one. Take that inside and just lift up towards the side and then drive that elbow in. Push up towards the ceiling, drive that elbow in. Two more, last one, switch sides. Now we're going down and up again in that nice good lunge. Woo. Oh yeah. Three more, two more. Last one right here, low, straighten. Low, straighten. Three, two, last one, hang low. Twist open, dry that elbow in. Twist open, dry that elbow in. Two more, last one. Right here in the quadruped, let's take those elbows, lock them out, sink those shoulder blades in and out. Ooh, yeah. Three more like this. Two more. And then we're gonna go out and up, out and up. We've got two. Last one on this side, and let's go to the other side. Out and up, out and up. We've got three, two. Last one, let's get those glutes a little bit more activated. Let's drive that towards the ceiling and squeeze that glute. Three more, two more. 
Last one out to the side. Oh, three, two, last one. Drive the other side up towards the ceiling. Drive that glute for me. Come on, three, two, last one out to the side right there. Three, two, last one right here in the plank. Downward dog, pump those heels. In the plank, downward dog, pump those heels. Last time, plank, downward dog, pump those heels. Walk that all the way up. Throw those arms right up overhead, right up onto those toes. We've got three, two, last one. Guess what we're starting with? Our heroic move. We're gonna do that nice, good kettlebell swing. We're gonna use the right arm to do it. We're gonna hinge down. Now you notice I bend my knees, I hinge, and I drive through that hip as I come right up to that eye level. We're gonna work for 45 seconds. Grab that weight, baby, here we go. Three, two, one, down, and drive. Right here, hopping through those hips. Come on, you got this. Now you can always do this if it's like, oh, I only had a heavier dumbbell, or kettlebell, you can use both arms. But otherwise, we're gonna just do right, and the next time we'll do left. Don't worry, we'll have an even amount. <laughs> Pop those hips, 20 more seconds. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and rest. Okay, next activity. We're going to do a nice good deadlift. Take it up and squat. Okay, so you're gonna hinge at that hip, drive it down, drive through those hips all the way up. Take that weight, push those he that butt back, sit right over those heels, and give me a good squat. Okay, we're only doing an activity one time through, but we're gonna keep every other hitting those kettlebell swings, okay? So deadlift to squat, here we go. In three, two, one, hinge down, drive forward, sit back and squat. Hinge down, drive forward, sit back and squat. It's really not a no repeat because we're repeating the kettlebell swing a lot today. But everything else is just one time through. Just that 45 seconds to work. Drive it down, sit on down. Nice work. Hinge at that hip, drive and down. Yes, could I do more weight? Yes, but this is good. Just to keep that body moving. A little bit more than body weight. I'm feeling good. The next thing we'll do is the left swing. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Kettlebell swing. Left arm now. Hinge down, drive forward. Okay, again, bend those knees, but you're hinging through that hip. It's that hip hinge that you're getting all that work in. Okay, left side. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, down and drive. Drive through those hips. Now, kettlebell swings, one of the best exercises. You're gonna say, what's one exercise I could do if I was just gonna do an awesome exercise? This is it. This works your core, this works your upper body, this works your lower body, and it gets your heart rate up. Man, just doing 10 minutes of kettlebell swings, holy cow, you can get so much stronger, you get a nice strong core, you get those legs and those arms, heart rate pumping, it's awesome. Here we go, 10 more seconds. <sighs> nice work, come on, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a lateral lunge. So we're gonna go to the side, we're gonna take that weight, and we're gonna come up and high row it. So when you do a lateral lunge, remember you're stepping and you're pushing that weight, that butt back like you're gonna sit on a chair, push through that. When you take that weight, you're gonna come all the way up, slide it right up against your chest, up to that armpit. So I'm gonna step to the right, but I'm gonna use my left arm for my row. Here we go, three, two, one step down, all the way up. Try to see if you can tap that baby down and row it to the top. 
sit down over that heel, press up and row. Nice work, come on, you got this. Down and press. Nice and controlled, 15 more seconds. Pushing down, row. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Right side of the swing, you guessed it. Heart rate getting up there. We're moving quickly, using those that whole body, gets that heart pumping. Woo, catch that breath. And we're doing the right side next. Here we go. In three, two, one. Hinge down, drive forward. Hop those hips for me. Now remember, I am not, I am not using my body, my arm to pull that up. I am only guiding it. It is going from momentum of those popped hips. Okay, so it's coming from the hips and my upper body is guiding it and controlling it. That's all it's doing. Okay, 20 more seconds. Nice work, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so now we gotta do that lateral lunge on the left side, taking that right side and doing that high row. Woo! Heart pumping. Check. <laughs> Woo! Nice and controlled. In about 10 seconds to get into place. Oh yeah. Step into the left, moving that right in three, two, one, step down. Give me that high row. So it was moves like this that I can only do a 15 pounder with nice, good control. Even though I could do more with some of those deadlifts and squats, I just move a little bit quicker with a lighter weight. Keep that heart pumping a little bit more. And then making sure I have nice, good form. To kind of find that medium weight is kind of nice. Fifteen more seconds, and then we've got that left swing. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Left side, baby, left side. Woo! Allergies are so bad here. So I feel bad for my congestion. You'll hear a little bit of my voice, but it feels good to get that heart pumping. Move that congestion around a little bit. Okay, we got that left side. Here we go in three, two, one. Hinge down, drive forward. Pop that baby, pop it up. Nice and controlled. Drive that up. Nice work, come on. Pop that baby. Down and up. Down and up. Oh yeah. We're gonna do a round the world next. Oh yeah. That's always fun. Come on, 10 more seconds. And drive, come on and pop it. Five, four, three, two, one and a rest. Okay, we're gonna go around the world in our hip and then back the other way. Then we're gonna take it around our um, neck and then around the other way and back. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of hula hooping, a little bit of neck movement, work that core and go both directions. One each direction, switch up. Woo! Here we go. Three, two, one, around the world. Around the world the other way. Around the neck and around the other way. Oh yeah. Hip movement, trunk movement. Actually a very strong core movement. 
by having to switch that weight around and balance it. And it's a little bit of fun, right? Oh, after our hula hooping days. Oh yeah, come on, 20 more seconds, halfway there. And then you guessed it, we got that right side swing. Hardest part, remembering if we're doing right or left, right? I mean, correct. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Oh yeah, right side swing. Whew. Yeah, getting some more fan on me. Cause I'm working that body with you, getting hot and sweaty. Woo, yeah. Okay, we've got that right side swing into that drive. Oh yeah, cool air. Come on, baby. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go down and pop. Oh yeah, feels much better. I'm working hard with you. Come on, drive those hips. Pop it up. Pop it. Nice work. Come on, drive it up. We're gonna do a lunge and shoulder press next. Okay, so we'll step with that right side, and then when we come up, we'll shoulder press that right side. It'll be a lot of fun. 15 more seconds of this. Try. Drive, you got this. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna step back with the left so that your right is working. Come down, press up. Step back, press up. So the front leg is the one that works. So that's why when we're working that right side, we're gonna step back with the left, drop down, keep that trunk upright as you come up. Press that right up on overhead. Woo! So we got that right side first. Here we go. Three, two, one. Step down, press up. Step back, press up. Nice and controlled. Press that baby all the way up to the top. Sit on down, press forward. Keeping that heart rate up there. By these full global movements, that whole body's working, right? Legs, core, upper body, oh yeah. Core's working really hard. We're doing that single-sided activity. Oh, yes. Come on, 10 more seconds on this side. Then we'll go to that left swing, and then the left lunge. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Oh, yes. Well-deserved rest. Okay, so we have that left side uh, swing. Catch that breath for just a second. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Grab that weight and we're going in three, two, one, hit down, drive forward. Pop that baby. Nice and controlled. You got this. Pop that baby up and down. Exhale as you pop that up. And try not to get it way back behind you. You want it right in between your legs and then popping forward. Control it down. Pop it up. Both directions have to have some control. Okay, it doesn't take you back behind you. Okay? Make sure you're sticking with great form. Here you go. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Oh yeah. Okay, we've got that left side. Okay, so we're gonna step back with the right to work that left leg and then the left press. Whew. I think I'm really enjoying the rest breaks right now. I'm gonna have to be honest. <laughs> it's a nice good workout. Here we go. Grab that weight. Stepping back with the right, so we work that left side. Here we go, three, two, one. Step down, drive forward. Step back, drive forward. Nice and controlled. Stepping back, driving up. 
press through that front heel as you come up and boom, right up overhead. Today's about a lot of balance, a lot of control, and then all these global movements. Like I said, a little bit lighter, but I can move through it nicely with great form, a little bit quicker. Keep that heart rate up there. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, we're back to the right side swing. Whew. Oh yeah, catch that breath. Right side swing. Again, making sure that weight does not get behind you. Okay, it stops right in between your knees and then you pop that baby up. You control that down. Again, it's a hinge and a hinge. Here we go. Right side in three, two, one. Hinge down, drive forward. Pop that hip open, all the way open. That hip drip pop is what drives that weight up. Let's go. Right to that eye level and down. We're gonna do a goblet squat next, and then we'll take the weight overhead and do an overhead extension to get those triceps. Pop it, pop it. Come on, 15 more seconds of this. You got this. Stay strong, keep that form. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, this time you're gonna take that weight. It's gonna be right here on your chest. You're gonna squat down, come up, take it overhead, drive the weight right behind you, hide it from your, behind your head, pop it all the way up to extend for that tricep, sit back down for that squat. And that's how we're gonna roll. <laughs> Woo, working the legs, working the shoulders, Working those triceps in three, two, one. Squat down, pop up. Take that weight up overhead, extend, back down. Getting that full elbow extension. Really get that tricep in there. And sit back down. Keeping that weight real close to your chest as you sit down and pop back up. Driving those hips back, sitting over those heels. We're gonna do a left side swing next in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, left side swing next. Whew. Grab that weight. Let's rock this left side. Stick with the form as we're getting fatigued. It's very important. Three, two, one. This is where we can start getting kind of sloppy. So we're starting to get like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. And I'm kind of tired. And you just start swinging it and not really pay attention to that nice good hip hinge. You, don't, you start to round your back. You start to let it fall back and swing. We don't want that. Okay, we gotta protect that body. And we want to work the muscles the way they were designed with nice and control. Come on, hop back. And up. We're going to do a curtsy lunge next with a bicep curl. Ooh. On just that right side. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, so I'm going to take that weight on my right side. I'm going to step back with my left and do a nice good curtsy. And then I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna curl it. And down, right here, right side only. Okay, and when you step back with that curtsy lunge, you still are dropping that, that leg, that knee is right above that ankle. And then popping all the way up and curling it. Woo, yeah, right side, here we go. Three, two, one, nice good curtsy. Curl that baby, and down. Now, you can do all of this with a dumbbell. 
But I do really recommend having one kettlebell in your home gym because it is such a great tool. It moves the weight a little bit differently, so your body has to work with a little bit of the weight shift, okay? And you're able to kind of work it just a little bit differently, challenges those muscles, kind of fun, something to do different too. They're not that expensive. You can find them at Walmart or at the sporting goods store. Like I said, this is just a 15. You can find them even on Amazon, I'm sure. Here we go, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we got that right side swing next. Yes, the swings keep showing up, don't they? It's like they're our heroic move. Oh wait, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. Woo, and we're being heroic by continually to do them. Oh, okay, right side it is. Let's grab that weight. Here we go in three, two, one. Hinge down and drive forward. Drive it and pop it. Nice work. You're doing awesome. And drive. Pop that baby. Let's go. Let's go. Halfway there. And then we got that curtsy on the left side with that bicep curl. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, love that word, right? <laughs> okay, so we got that left side curtsy with that bicep curl. That means you're stepping with your right to work that left side. And that weight's in that left side. Oh yeah. Here we go. In three, two, one, step down and curl. And then we'll do the left side swing after this. How's that sound? Oh yeah, baby. Down and up. Come on. 20 more seconds. Oh, bicep. Getting a little tired. Oh yeah, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we got that left swing next. Come on, feel it, baby. We're starting to see that end, right? We're more than halfway. That's always encouraging. Here we go, left side to swing in three, two, one, drive it forward. Woo. So we're gonna go down into the plank position next. We're gonna be in a tall plank, and we're gonna move the weight, and we're gonna pass it underneath it. So we're gonna take it from the right to the left, and then from the left to the right, we're gonna that core in that plank position. Woo. Come on. Drive that baby. And drive. Pop it. 15 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. We're going down in that plank position. Okay, so we're gonna go in that nice, good, solid plank position, keeping that those knees pressed up towards the ceiling. Your glutes are tight, your abs are tucked in, and you're moving that weight from one side, and then you're taking the left hand, moving it through to the left side. Okay, you're pulling it through, and the whole key is not to let those hips move back and forth, keeping that nice, solid position. Here we go, three, two, one, find that solid plank position. Move that weight, it is a control. Okay, you're fighting against the gravity and against that movement 
Okay, that's the work. The work is fighting against the resistance to want to turn and twist. Oh yeah. Sometimes we are strengthening in a movement. Sometimes we're strengthening like this, resistance against the movement. Okay, different ways of strengthening. Pull that through. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We've got right side swing next. Okay, we only have this and one more time of a right swing. Okay, you can start to see that finish line. Got a little bit of encouragement. Oh, yes, baby. Okay, so here we go. Woo, catch that breath in three, two, one. Drive that up and down. Pop that hip, keep that control. Don't let that fall down, right? We're starting to get tired, getting towards that end. Don't let that form decrease, okay? Stay strong, stay steady, stay focused. Fifteen more seconds. Pop those hips. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so what we're doing next is a wood chop to the right. Okay, so we're gonna take that weight. We're gonna be a little bit of a squat and drive to the top right there. Boom. And twist. Twisting up and over to that right side. Okay, down and twist. Nice and controlled. Yes, working that trunk, working that core. You've got this, here we go. Towards that right side in three, two, one, down and twist. Coming down to that left knee, twisting it up over that right side and twist, twist, push, pull through those hips. Pop those hips and twist. You should be good at popping those hips right now, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Twist to the right, let's go. And pop. 20 more seconds. Hang in there and then we'll do that left side swing. And then the left side wood chop, how's that? Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, that's a, that's a good rest. Absolutely. Whew. Okay, we got that left side swing next. I'm catching my breath. Are you? I'm working hard today. It may seem like a light weight, but we're moving and shaking, right? We keep hitting that full body. Okay, we got that left side swing. Pick that weight up, baby. Here we go. Three, two, one. Sit down and pop. Pop that baby up. Come on. Pop those hips. Down and pop. Nice and controlled. You're doing beautifully. Pop those hips. Let's go. Then we got that left side wood chop. Oh, yes. You got 10 more seconds of this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so you're gonna start on that right knee. You're gonna drive it to that left hip and over. Okay, work in that trunk. Drive into that hip. Okay, these diagonals are so important in our functional activities, okay? Because we're doing multi-planar in that. We're not sticking in one plane when we do those diagonals. Very, very functional because we don't just stick in one plane in our daily lives. We've got to be strong in those. Okay, grab that weight. We're going to the left side in three, two, one, down, and drive. Drive it up. Touch down, drive up. Good 
here's the good news. After this, we have our last right, right swing, okay? We're seeing that finish line, okay? But stay with that form. Don't get sloppy. Finish strong. 15 more seconds of this. And drive. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Ooh. Let's celebrate, right? We only have one more right swing. <laughs> I know, not as celebrating as when we do our last one. But we're getting close. We're seeing that finish line. <sighs> oh yeah. Shake that out. Whew. Now, pay attention. Stick with that form. Okay? Be diligent about that. So important. Okay? And for your strength, for your health, for your body. Right? Here we go. Three, two. One, pop that and down. Pop it and down. Pop that hip all, get that all the way up. Let's go. We're gonna go down and do a, a nice good butterfly sit up with a twist. Ooh, yeah. Finish with some strong core. Not that we haven't been doing core the whole time with these darn swings and one sided activities. Oh, yeah. Pop those hips. Come on, 15 more seconds of this. Stay focused. You're almost there. We can do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Ooh, gotta love that word. Okay, we're going down to the ground. We're gonna be in that butterfly position with our legs. We're gonna take that weight. We're gonna come down, sit on up. Push out, push out, come down. Now, if that's too hard for you, tap down, tap down and keep it close, okay? Oh, yes, this is what we got. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Sit up, press it, and press it, or tap it to each side. Come up and tap, and down. Getting those obliques in that twist, getting that rectus abdominis, and by in that butterfly position, we're gonna take out those hip flexors just a little bit more so we use that nice good core to pull us up. Remember, I'm not pulling through my shoulders, I'm pulling through that belly button. Like a string is pulling me up from there and using it halfway there. And then guess what? Left swing. That's all we got until that cool down, okay? We're seeing that finish line. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and a rest. Oh, yes. Love that word. We are coming up. We got that left side swing, and that is it. That is it. We're going to finish strong. We're going to rock this. Here we go. Grab that weight, baby. In three, two, one. Hit down, drive forward. Pop that baby down and pop. Nice and controlled. Oh yeah, come on. Control it down, control it up. Pat that baby. Boom. You're doing great. Keep it strong. Keep it focused. Over halfway, let's go, let's go. Drive it, and drive it, 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop that weight. Oh, yeah. And we're going to go in a nice, good runner's lunge. Keep that left heel down. Drive that hip flexor forward. Pull that arm across. Drop that. Give me that shoulder. Okay, we may not be pulling with that shoulder, but we we're still working it a lot. And then pop that right up overhead. Give me that nice good tricep. And then right here, open up that chest. Oh yes. And then hinge down and give me that right hamstring. Oh yeah. Nice work. Come on up. Let's do the other thing on the other left side. Drive that hip forward. Okay, Draw, take that shoulder, drop it, pull it across. Nice work. And then you're going to take that right up overhead. Give me a nice good tricep. 
and then take those arms open up that chest oh yeah Woo. and then we're gonna hinge forward and give me that hamstring those swings really work the backside those hamstrings those glutes really need to stretch those out come on up grab that foot let's pull it back and stretch that quad if you need to grab the wall grab the couch for balance if you need it big big exhale get that heart rate down take the other side grab that baby pull it back oh yeah now we're gonna take that across and we're gonna sit down and open up that hip again if you need to find a balanced place oh yes open up that hip oh that feels so good and then let's do the other side open that up sit on down oh cross that baby up oh yeah way to rock all those swings today that was challenging but it was fun right okay we're fun that it's done <laughs> fun that we accomplished it right here we go three two one high five for rocking those i'm so proud of you high five for Bridget. Thank you for joining me on this video. I am so glad you are taking part of this Heroic You journey. Yes, this is a program designed to set your fitness level to the next level, whatever that is. Is that being stronger? Is that having more energy? Is that leaning you down? Whatever is your journey, be heroic enough to take hold of it. I also wanna make sure you have success in this journey, so make sure you are subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you never miss another workout that is designed to make you fit and be that heroic you you were designed to be. Make sure you also know that I have calendars for every week in the links below and on my social media so you can really prepare yourself for what is a part of this week and what is your journey gonna look like. I also wanna make sure you know that there's a playlist so you can go back and you can do this in your own timeline, making sure you have success for you. What is your journey? What is gonna help you get to that next level? That is all this is about. It's about you being a heroic and really getting to that next level. And I'm so excited to hear your stories. Let's get this thing rocking. Oh yeah!